Okay, so this reticulum thing is all well and good and all, but what can I actually use with it? Well, there's a couple of applications. The one I'll be going through uh, today is called RNCP. So RNCP is a file transfer utility written for reticulum. In terms of getting it and installing it on your own machine, you can run pip install RNS. And currently this will install version 0.7.5 of the utility. It's also possible to download uh, the script great, uh, straight from GitHub. Um, and the link for that will be in the description. The reason I've done that for this video is because there are some features which are on the GitHub which aren't currently in the package, um, which I want to be able to so showcase. So I've downloaded these here already, and uh, let's just run RNCP and see what options we have here. Um, so the first one I'm going to be going through is listen. So when you're using RNCP, there's one side which initiates the connection, and then there's another side um, which actually listens for it, and that obviously the listener has to be started before the side that initiates the connection, right? Um, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be showing off the listen option. Now by default, when you start RNCP, if it's not configured, if there's no config file, or you haven't specified any of the options like no auth or, um, or the dash A option, it will say no, no allowed identities configured, RNCP will not accept any files. So what we need to do is we need to pick one, pick one of these uh, two options effectively. So I can do dash n, and this will accept files from anyone. So incoming transfer requests. So people can only upload files currently. We're not looking at downloading files yet. People can only upload files. So I have a file in my directory over here. I have two of these files, pepe.jpg and chatelet.m4a. I'm going to start off with pepe.jpg. So what I want to do is I want to copy this file over naturally. And when you're copying with RNCP, the options always go the file and then the address do you want to copy over to, or the destination hash, as it's called in Reticulum. If I press Enter, Reticulum found a route to my virtual machine. It's only through a, a little IPv6 interface that I configured. Um, and then it's copied the file through. And you can see over here, it's um, started the resource transfer. If I control C out of this, run ls, and you can see pepe.jpg is here. And just to show it's the same file, uh, there's that on this side. And there's that on this side. So we've managed to transfer our file over. And it's all hunky dory, right? Works fine. Well, we have another option as well, where instead of allowing anyone to upload files, which, you know, is kind of risky, um, instead what we can do is we can allow specific people, we can whitelist specific people to upload files. So for instance, if I run rncp-p, you can see the identity and the listening hash. So within rncp, these are always separate. So when it's in listening mode, the destination hash is different. And when it's connecting out, as its identity, um, it's always different. So this is my identity hash here. So what I can do is I can run python3 rncp.py-l and then I can whitelist my hash. And now it will only accept connections from my hash. So to show this working, if I do rncp m 4 a and I put this to the uh, same destination as before, and you can see that it's copying over the file. And it's managed to do so here. And if my identity were well, not the identity that I've selected here, for instance, if I, uh, you can see the transfer is completed. If I remove that file, go here, change the hash a little bit, and I try and upload this file, you can see, could not advertise the resource, file was not accepted. And there's no file that's been copied over to here and the directory is empty. So it's quite good for um, security to be able to whitelist certain addresses, um, especially you know if you're just sharing files with your buddies or something. Um, it's, it's, it's quite important to be able to do that, obviously. Um, so in terms of the other options that we have available here, we'll just show some of them off. Um, so what I did earlier to print the identity and see the identity on the remote side so that I can whitelist it here, I just ran dash p. Um, so now we can go through the fetch option. 
Now, there's two things that need to be enabled in order to do file fetching. That that means downloading files from the remote. <clears throat> so you need to use dash F on the client side and you need to do dash capital F on the server side. So both of them have to be configured to do fetching. And obviously this is important on the server side um, that this is configurable. So I have a file on here called reticulum underscore logo dot PNG. Okay. So if I want to get this file over to my uh, my actual machine, not just uh, take it off my virtual machine, if I run Python 3, rncp, I'm going to listen, I'm going to allow clients to fetch, and I'm going to whitelist my, uh, my hash again, which was here. So this is going to allow file fetching. And all I do over here is rncp dash lowercase f, so this is capital letter, lowercase f, reticulum underscore logo dot png. And you can see it's downloading the file at present. And once it's done downloading, here we go. Um, you can see that the file is actually here. It's in the directory. If I look at the file, you can see it's the logo for reticulum. If I come over here, look at the same file, it's the exact same one. So it's managed to transfer it over this different link just by fetching instead of, um, you know, instead of me uh, having to run this side in client mode in order to transfer them over. Instead, you're able to run uh, the, the side that's listening with fetch mode and you can just do the files that way. And it's a lot more, it's a lot easier because this means obviously you can serve multiple files. The only thing is the remote side needs to know what the file is called. So currently, as far as I know, there's no listing functionality for RNCP. So it's not like FTP, we can just run it um, LS or the, I, I don't remember, I haven't used FTP in a while. Um, you, you have to know what the file is called before actually connecting. Um, so this has to be advertised through a different medium. Um, we also have the uh, jail option. So when I've been running this before, for example, if I run this again, I'm allowing fetch. If I come over here, I want to fetch a different file. Say I want to fetch, uh, let's try Etsy password. Etsy password fetched from, if I cat password, and uh, these are all of the user accounts effectively on the virtual machine. So even though I'm running RNCP from this directory here, it's actually allowed me to fetch things outside of the current directory. Um, so this is something you'll want to be wary of when you're hosting something like this. Um, you should ideally use the jail option so that um, basically every single file accessible by your user isn't going to be, um, be served. On the, on the test net or whatever you're currently connected to through reticulum. Um, so just to demonstrate this uh, this difference, I'm going to be using the jail option and I'm going to set the path to home user downloads. I know you can't see that. Uh, if I just, there we go. <laughs> you can see that. So what I've done is I've jailed it to this folder which has the stuff I want to serve in it. If I go over here again and I try and download that, it never starts. Because uh, the remote side has gone, hang on a minute, this is outside the jail, I'm not going to serve this file to you. And it doesn't work. So if I actually delete this existing file, if I run this, you see it'll just get stuck there, and the file actually hasn't been downloaded. So one other thing, just quickly, let's have a look at, uh, here we go. So we've covered all the options. There's dash s. Doesn't show the transfer output. So you can see when I was transferring it, it showed percentage transferred and the, the calculated data rate. Uh, all these other options, basically, yeah, there's the, <clears throat> they're self-explanatory. There's also, well, slash uh, dash w, send a timer before giving out. Um, so that's when you're trying to upload a file to somewhere. 
if the other side uh, doesn't respond, basically this is the timeout before it uh, it doesn't it doesn't bother when it doesn't hear a response at all. And just to just to demonstrate that it can do larger files as well. So a lot of these files in here, you've seen me upload Shadowlay already. I mean, this one's only 52k, this one's 85k. So just to be sure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file again, and we're going to check that we can actually hear it. So we need to run this without the dash air. In fact, I think that's the wrong hash as well. All right, what we'll do is we'll just do it with dash n. This will allow me to connect quite easily. Here we go. I'm going to start uploading the file. We'll just wait for it to come over. Here we go. Looks like it's downloaded. Let's just check that this file um, actually copied correctly. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that pretty much concludes um, the whole overview of RNCP. Um, I hope that was helpful to you in some way. Um, and uh, keep in mind that you can run this basically over any medium that you have configured in Reticulum. Uh, data rates will vary, obviously, depending on the medium. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Transfer files become ungovernable.